Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the airflow throughout the car. Uh, I'm going to do a baseline run with everything you see here, and then slowly we're going to start taking things off to see how it affects the temperatures for the airflow. So first we'll be taking this off, and then I do have a makeshift box around my intake. We'll be taking that off, seeing what that does. And then lastly, we're going to take a look at the radiator shroud. Now this one I built by myself, but the point of it is, according to Perrin, is that all the airflow coming through the grill, once it hits the radiator, it comes shooting straight up because there is a gap in between here, which you'll see later. So the point of the shroud is, is to deflect that airflow back through the radiator to lower your core temperatures. So we're going to be actually taking a look and see if it does what it says it does. Alright guys, so the run we just did was about 65 with everything you see here, and the temperature stayed about 106 with the temperature outside being about 80, so it wasn't too bad actually. So a couple weeks ago me and a buddy were looking at this. Um, there is a seal on the hood where you know it kind of looks like it seals on top of it, which it does, but where the lip of the hood actually comes down, it doesn't really look like there's a lot of airflow that would be able to get in. So what we're going to do take this off so we're gonna see what that does now I do still have that box inside the fender so maybe we'll take that out one day and see what it does but for now we'll take this out and see what our temps are so this is actually really cool uh, been cruising almost to the same distance where I started and it got down 106 really quick uh, and it just hit 102 right now so according to me that means it's actually cooler Without the air snorkel thing. I mean, I'm not sure if it would make any sort of difference in traffic, but right now it is two degrees cooler. Alright, guys, now we're gonna take a look at our coolant temperature. So I still got the radiator shroud on, so we'll do another run downward 65 miles an hour. We'll see if it does anything versus. So for part two of our cooling temp testing, I got the radiator shroud off, so don't need that. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to work because right before I pulled into this road, bef before I made any turns, did anything, the temperature went from 181 and it went up to 183, and then probably 30 seconds after that it went up to 185. So I'm actually going to have to look at the thermostat settings for our cars because I'm curious to see if that has anything to do with it. So we'll do this test and then we'll go home and take a look. All right, so now we're on our run without the shroud. Um, it did hit 183 for a couple minutes and then just now went up to 185. So I think that has something to do with the thermostat. So as I said, once we get back, we'll take a look at that. Just now, when I was slowing down, shut up, temp got to 181. So that means it did go back down from 185, and that was actually slowing down from 65 to 45. And then now it's back at 183. And then obviously it's going to climb because we're sitting here. Hey guys, so after all the runs today, I learned that there's some big issues with the air intake system in our cars. Now, given mine's only for an 04, but you know, the 04, 05, and 6 and 7 are actually roughly the same as far as the airflow. So I'm sure all the temperatures and stuff would be the same. But as far as the coolant, that, that was kind of interesting today as the coldest it got was about 181 degrees. And then it would get up to 185 degrees driving at the same speed and same temperature same wind conditions everything like that 
So what that was telling me is that the thermostat was actually closing up a little bit, letting a little bit less coolant flow through so the engine gets back to its normal operating temperature, which is about 185, and that's actually what I've been seeing on the forums. So I think that's kind of cool, but what I'm looking at right now is a crim speed 160 degree thermostat, which means it should lower it down anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees, and if you can see what I have highlighted down here is it says it will fail in the open position. So right down here, it's just, I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool. And it says it's supposed to lower the temperatures anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees. I'd be curious to see if that's actually true. But as far as all the pieces and stuff that you've seen, you know, the radiator shroud, that is just for show. At least for my setup and what I have with still having a stock radiator and a stock thermostat and all that. So hope you guys enjoyed.